My guest is Chastity. Chastity, why don't you tell me why you're here? I'm here today because a longtime friend of mine, um, I went out of town in August of 09. Um, I had her watch my kids, which my birthday is August 8th. Um, I come back home and my daughter has a knot on her head, really bad, big, I mean bad knot. I asked her, I said, Latoya, what happened to my child? She tells me, oh, she ran into the wall. I said, no, Latoya, that bump isn't consistent, you know, with a run into the wall. Right. Um, so she couldn't tell me what happened to my daughter. So I called the police. And as I called the police, uh, she still wouldn't tell the police what happened or nothing like that. Um, so I took my daughter to the um, area hospital. And, um, you know, they said that they really couldn't, you know, it's, um, also, you know, with a child. Right. Um, they couldn't just go off a of hearsay. So I kept asking. And how old was how old is your child that got the head wound? My daughter's five. Five. And did she was she able to tell you what happened? Yeah, she told me and the police officer exactly what happened. And on top of that, she also told the police officer that Latoya stuck a pencil up my three year old daughter's. So what did your daughter uh, exactly say? Happened? My daughter said, "Mom, Latoya hit me in the head with a belt buckle." From that day, Latoya, can you please tell me? Please just tell me what happened to my daughter. So now the police, they they come and, and you know they hear the story. So what happens after that? Uh, they investigated Latoya for a while, uh, police plus DCFS, but the cases were closed. That's why I'm here today because I want to really know the truth. Um, you took a lie detector test. Latoya took a lie detector test. If she passes, obviously, you know I'm sure would give you some comfort. But if she fails, I'm going home pursuing every everything I possibly can with every breath that I got. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, your former friend that, you know, you were so close to her, you entrusted her to watch your children, and you got the shock of your life. Let's bring her out. Here's LaToya. I want to know. You and your I daughter is a liar. I want to know. My daughter is a liar. My daughter is a liar. How could like you I sit said, there? Cut. How could you cut. sit there? Why are you sitting there? I just don't believe my kids. I got two kids. I got two kids. I got two kids. I got one of them. I got two kids. Your mama 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 got two kids. Tell us on this show. Hold on, hold on. Has she watched your children even once after this episode happened? Well, yes. Why would you let her watch your children? Because I didn't actually, I couldn't believe. You know, I couldn't believe that she did it at the time. I'm like, OK, she's my friend. But she's she telling me you she did it. You just called the police, yeah. and you, you believe in your daughter, you know but what? then you let her watch them again? Because she kept telling me, Chastity, I wouldn't do that to your kid. I wouldn't do that to your kid. Her being so a good friend. You, so what made you say no more? Because. I keep asking her, and I keep asking her, and she keeps saying the same thing. But when I question my kids, my kids keep telling me the same thing. I said, well, the hell with her. I'm going to believe my kids. OK. Now, you guys were good friends, yes, right? Yes. She says she trusts you to watch her kids. You tell me what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. I heard one of the kids crying. The oldest girl heard her crying. So I go upstairs to see what's going on. And she was like, um, my little sister did it. Hit her in the face with some a toy. And But you told me she ran into the wall. Not a toy no. to change again? No. Chastity, you lying. No, girl, you told me she ran you're into lying. the wall. You're lying. You said, girl, why she would ran your into kids the wall. Make up something like that, no. though. You why would said, a kid, why, why would a right, child? Why would a five-year-old and a three-year-old okay, say you done something too much they didn't, girl? I'm saying that. I didn't Just tell me that. You need to be checking your kid. Okay, we will Latoya, see. Latoya, did you ever hit her? her child with a belt. That, yeah, with a belt, but not on no face. What does a five-year-old do that wouldn't tell you to whip that child with a belt? She, uh, she put the knot on her sister's head. The three-year-old is... The three-year-old... But the five-year-old the got the knot. I'm downstairs. But the five-year-old got the knot. What can I do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I... This is where I start getting a little crazy, because I'm asking you thinking that you spanked the five-year-old with the belt. That's no. what the no. one that got hit with the belt. But you just said you spanked the three-year-old no, with the belt. I spanked the three-year-old because she did wrong. She Liar. threw a toy at the oldest girl. That's who had so to knock the oldest girl. She took a belt and spanked her with it. I spanked a her. A three-year-old. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help. And the oldest daughter makes this other allegation against you, which is pretty serious, something that normally most children can't you know, even think of stuff like this. She makes this allegation against you. Any explanation for that? 
No, but I'm saying I wouldn't abuse no kid though. Would you stick? I, I gotta ask No, that. I sure I, would. I don't even do my daughter like that. Okay. Okay. Somebody you don't else even got custody like of your daughter. Okay, it don't even matter. I be around my daughter. I be around my daughter. To? You ain't supposed I to be, be around, around my her. daughter. Okay. See, I'm not gonna get into this because I'm sure there's some legal question reasons why I cannot ask about that. But as far as you've known her. She's always been a good person, okay. you right. know? Well, and I'm still that good that she person. Didn't I ain't do never do she, nothing to harm nobody's kids. Kid. So let me ask nobody's you this. If she, if she does, I watched my niece and nephew. If she does pass this lie detector test, mm -hmm. what, what, what will you say? Will you? I would apologize to Latoya. Will you have a relationship? Yes, I will. You will? Yes, I will. <laughs> Jesse, before the show, you took a lie detector test and you were asked, are you fabricating the story that your daughter claimed LaToya physically abused her? You answered no. You were asked, did you allow LaToya to babysit your children alone after the alleged abuse? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Thank you. Um, Latoya, you were asked, um, did you sexually assault Chastity's four-year-old daughter? You answered no, and the result for that question is you told the truth. <laughs> you were asked, did you ever strike Chastity's six-year-old daughter with the belt? You answered yes, and you confessed to that. You did strike her with the belt. And then you were asked, Latoya, have you ever disciplined Chastity's children with excessive force? You answered no. Did you hit Chastity's six-year-old daughter in the head with a belt buckle? And you answered no. Have you physically abused Chastity's children on any other occasion? And you answered no. And the results for those three questions of your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. Uh, <laughs> Girl, I thought you was my friend. And you gonna beat my kids? I didn't look out for your kids. I ain't never abused your kids. I didn't look out for your kids. I ain't never abused your kids. When I get back to Fiora, you going to jail, bro. You going to jail? What you doing? You going to This is, this is your chance here, okay? You, you, you admit it that you hit her, uh, the daughter with the belt. It's not like you confessed to it. So this is, you know, maybe you swung, maybe you didn't mean to, maybe you didn't mean you to hit her with the belt buckle. But you, you did grind. cause injury to this child. You did hit the child in the head and with the belt buckle. And you going to jail. You know what? This lame ass. Hold on. I gave you every opportunity up here <laughs> to at least come clean about a little bit. Give a mother a little. I ain't little, never been nobody's you know kid. What? That's the you thing. Know That's you keep saying that. Keep saying it. You say it over and over, and you might finally believe it. But you know what? I didn't you know you're right about something. Okay, you, you know what? Here's the kids. thing. If somebody doesn't have their own kids for a reason, I don't care what. My son. Is, don't let them watch your I kids. And I always tell people, imagine a situation that you're putting somebody else in. And imagine a three-year-old, and mommy's not around, and somebody's wielding a belt and going to hit him with it. Mm -mm. Imagine a three-year-old in a house with somebody that's not their mother with the belt coming after him. Get the hell off my stage. Thank you. You know, it's 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 nice it's for you to try to reach out to be a friend, and you're giving somebody a chance. But what I don't give anybody a chance with, I never give them a chance with, is my kids. Have never. Ever since, ever since that happened, the only person, the only person keeping on my kids is my mother. If it ain't my no mother, more, no it ain't nobody. No more chances, right? No more nobody. No more I, nothing. You got your answers today. I hope. Thank you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. 
somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too.